I remember my first interview and it started with could you tell me something more about yourself? Of course I practiced for that. But my response was I'm nervous. I'm nervous. That was my response. Like after a 30 second mental block or so. The interviewer and I had a good laugh and then we proceed it. The things I will be sharing to you in this video are the ones that I wish I knew during that time so that when it's your turn then you'll have a way better result than what I did. Well I got hired but I kind of wish that the interview process went a bit smoother if you know what I mean. Anyway let's start. Tip number one is for you to do your research. Now you ask what exactly do I research about? Two things. Number one, the company that you're applying for. And number two, the position that you're applying for. If you're starting with zero on the job experience, then you don't really have a choice but to work with secondhand information. And there are two sources where that could come from. The first and most obvious resource is the internet. Now let's say you just graduated from culinary school and you'd like to be a chef. So you go to Google, read a few articles, this and that and this and that. Now this is good if you just want to have an idea of what you're getting yourself into. The other and I should say better way is to ask an insider, someone who's actually on the job. Not only would that help you get more insight on what you're getting yourself into, you might also discover some things that you should be preparing for. Furthermore, this would definitely give you a solid advantage if you will be put on the spot with situational questions like, what will you do if a customer complains that the food is raw or burnt? Something like that. Tip number two is for you to practice. So let's say that you would like to learn how to drive a car. And to help yourself, you decided to read a book this thick. And you even decided to watch around 20 to 30 YouTube videos regarding how to drive a car. So after all of those research, do you think you would already be able to drive a car? Well, I don't think so. So what's missing? Well, if you said that you should be driving a car, then you're correct. Experience really is the best teacher. Now, you'll probably have questions that you don't want to be asked during the interview. Write these down and get someone to ask them to you. Get yourself into the habit of being placed on the spot on a regular basis so that come your actual interview, you'll have a better chance of responding appropriately, to say the least. Nowadays, Interviews can be done over the phone or face-to-face. -face. Here are some bonus tips to help you prepare for either one. For phone interviews, it's best if you have a phone pal that could give you feedback like, is your environment quiet enough? Can you hear the other line? Those specific kinds of things because you would not want to be dealing with those during your actual interview, if that makes sense. For face-to-face -face interviews, most likely there will be a lot of applicants waiting for their turn. You can make the most out of your time by practicing with each other. Who knows? You might be talking to a future colleague. And please, do yourself a favor by not falling into the comfort trap. Most recruitment hubs today are filled with distractions. 4K television, gaming consoles, free food, you name it. And while you could definitely enjoy the amenities while you're there, make sure to save all the relaxation after passing the interview. Let's review. To increase your chances of passing any interview, you need to do your research as well as practice. As for some bonus tips, you need to get a phone pal if you're doing a phone interview, and you need to get a buddy if you're doing a face-to-face -face interview. And that wraps it up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, 
make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and get that job.